Hello! Welcome to Game Over Gurkha Man. This is of course Gurkha Man, and we're playing Shadows of the Empire still. Because we're not quite finished yet, but we're getting very close. This is part 8 of 10. We have three people with us this week. Ladies and gentlemen, who are all gentlemen, please introduce yourselves. Oh, I'm a lady. Oh. <laughs> I'm also a lady. Okay, well everyone's a lady. <laughs> I'm also a lady. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, um, anyway, I'm, um, I'm Mark, otherwise known as 13, one of the uh, the Star Wars super fans. Uh, I do animation and video, and um, I talk about Star Wars with Dan on video. That's true. He did. I'm Sycon, who I'm also known as Jordan in real life, when people don't know what I do on the internet. And uh, I love Star Wars, and I like to pretend that I know stuff about it, so here I am. <laughs> I'm Carbon Water. I um, draw stuff and sometimes moves to make the illusion of movement. And uh, I watched Star Wars that one time, and I'm like, hey, that's pretty cool. But you'd played this game <laughs> as a kid, which is why yeah. you're here. No, I, I want to say, I want to say, uh, when I was uh, coming back, I grabbed my uh, copy of Shadows of the Empire, the book I have, and the oh, yeah. front actually has Luke in the same getup that was in. That he was in the cutscene, had the vest and the blue shirt on. So hey, that's good cutscene. There you go. A different media. It's it's like it's all the same thing. Okay. So we're in the sewers because Star Wars needs sewers. Yeah. This level looks a little bit more Star Warsy. You're you're going into a giant toilet bowl. <laughs> of sorts. But but I can see no, the that Star Wars. That happened in the prequels. That happened in the prequels. It went into a giant. It's all the rust. Bowl. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of the. Uh, the scene where they're in the trash compactor, I guess. Well, that's not the only thing that's going to remind you of the scene with the trash compactor in this level. I can tell you right now. I wouldn't oh, doubt it. Is it the... Mark knows what I'm talking about. Dylan probably is, does too, is it, actually. Uh, is the Dianoga in here? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. And there was, like, the, the Queen Dianoga. Oh, that's right. And she's no, a fucking Dianoga. mole. Do it, does anybody know... Are these... The sewers that we're in right now, are these sewers located on Coruscant? Does anybody know? This is, um, it said it was in the Imperial City, so I assume that's Coruscant. Which would be Coruscant, yeah, because the yeah. Imperials, they, they took yeah. over the, city, the capital of Coruscant. So, yeah, so for yeah. all you Star Wars fans out there, we were swimming through the shit of the Coruscant Im Imperial assholes that took over our city. Don't worry, guys, we're going to get it back. If, do you think that um, Mace Window's body washed into the sewers <laughs> and where we we would find I, him? That'd be an amazing Easter egg. Mace Window's body skeleton somewhere. <laughs> oh dear, dear oh me! You wouldn't think. Um, oh. there's a lot of brickwork underneath this city. It's it's space bricks. Space bricks. That thing is just filtering it's, the poop. Yeah, it's kind of it's uh, a it's a very kind of interesting level. This actually, because you use the jetpack to swim, basically. Was an interesting idea. It's because we were because yeah, we were physics. Screw that. Well, I don't know if you remember oh, us playing a certain game called Duke like, Forever, which had first-person swimming. But uh, it's kind of funny that this game from the this launch game from the Nintendo 64 does first-person swimming better than Duke Nukem Forever did, like 15 <laughs> years later. Oh, there I we go. It. There he is. He's he's just swimming. Uh, it's really easy to see under the water, but I guess since it's sewage, that's probably actually pretty accurate. You're right back, yes. guys. It's gonna fall in water. <laughs> <laughs> it's I love how when you're underwater, the uh, the jetpack turns green, the, the flames. Yeah, because that way you can swim better. If green flames yes. help you swim, it's yeah. science. Otherwise they'd burn out and they wouldn't work. That's right. Yeah. Green doesn't burn. Yeah. <laughs> Science kids. I just noticed that the sewage isn't all moving in the one direction. It's like moving in different directions. It's interesting. It's a it's a current. It is a a current of poop. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's like because this is towards the end of the game, so obviously we're trying to sneak into Senior uh, Zixor Zizors Zizors. Um, this is pretty Zizors. shit trying Wait, to activate these things. We're trying to Big sneak into guy. his. I don't know what it's Sneaking into his palace, so we can. You never actually confront him, actually. Hey, can we talk about that? Every video game now, there's the big bad guy, and you have to fight him at the end. And it's always like he's just one guy, but for some reason, because he's the last boss, they have to give him a heap of extra health and whatever to make him challenging. You don't yeah. even fight the bad guy in this game. You never it's even a, it's see a him. Of quality. That's... 
it, yeah, you don't. You you fight his um his space station because I guess they wanted to end on like a uh, Death Star on a uh, Death Star attack esque level. But you never actually come face to face with the bad guy. Well, if you think about it, Luke didn't really come face to face with Vader in uh, the true. original Star Wars. He saw him once, and then he was shot at a couple times. I didn't see him until yeah, the end the of the second one, yeah. movie. <laughs> That's true. Actually, I forgot about and, that. And for yeah. for the record, guys, it's pronounced Shizor. It is Shizor. Shizor. You yes. looked it up. Uh, that uh, if you want, <laughs> if you guys want the reference, it is Wikipedia. Wikipedia. I <laughs> uh, had to know how how to say that. Shizor. So, so there you go. Scizor from Prince Bulbapedia. Got it. <laughs> Bulbapedia, yes, he's on there with all 151 <laughs> Pokemon. Plus. You can never have too many Pokemon. So this guy, if anybody wants to run down on Yeah, the, give, on us, dude, give us the rundown on this guy, because you don't get a lot of context he, in the actual game. Yeah, yeah, he's it's a little bit, uh, you know, being someone who never really got through this game, uh, I was curious. So he's a fallen prince of House Shizron. He's the leader of the powerful criminal organization known as the Black Sun, which you actually encounter in a number of other Star Wars games, the Black Sun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. This is during the Galactic Civil War. She's always a ruthless competitor and a charismatic public figure in the high society, and his headquarters in the city planet of Coruscant uh, is where the Imperial Palace well, obviously was. Hmm. Um, but his his palace was, um, I think, a little less. And then he's uh, his race being... Um, uh, species of the folly <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Falleen, which I don't know much about but um, yeah I'm not familiar with the Falleen. this this character uh, in the extended universe is considered one of the most influential beings in the galaxy post the Battle of Hoth and he's mm. on par with Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader because of his wealth and influence among the criminal world. Oh, so, so there's you your background for the for the. For he the becomes he becomes more powerful than uh, was it Grand Admiral Thorn? So well, probably based on deal. wealth and his and his influence on crime, because Thrawn was actually very lawful lawful eat. I guess, and eh, lawful neutral really. He was a weird guy too, because like the Emperor hated aliens. He only liked white people. <laughs> but, which means he wouldn't have. Which means the Emperor, would, Emperor wouldn't have cared for this guy either, because he was a Falene. Yeah. Feline, how do you say that? He had respect for Thrawn though, because Thrawn had like his tactics were like Yeah. Well man, yeah, that guy was a badass. Yeah. So is he was... that why he was like, Mace Window, get out of my movie, because you're black. <laughs> yeah. You're too black. Fall to the poop. You might, the you might as well be an alien, Samuel L. Jackson. Get out that window. You and your purple <laughs> lightsaber. Yeah, the purple lightsaber was lame. You guys know the background on that, right? Samuel L. Yeah. Jackson yeah. said, can I have a purple yeah. lightsaber? And Lucas yeah, said, sure, whatever. Much was like, I demand having another different color. I don't want one that's the same. Which was smart, I think. He made the... Uh... They, they picked purple. Well, so, Samuel L. Jackson... I, I guess they're out of other colors that could really show up on a lot of the background. so Because they can't really yeah. use yellow. That's true. Well, in the purple, actually, I don't know if they did this on. I don't know if it was had anything to do. I don't know if it came after or before the purple lightsaber with Mace Windu. But I know that in some of the games, purple, like for example, in the MMO they came out with recently, what was it? Uh, oh, Star Wars. Old Republic. Old Republic. I Is that any good? Does anyone play it? Purple crystal. It had. It, I I played. I actually got the end game before it, uh, when it when it launched. It was really good. I liked it a lot, but it kind of gets boring once you hit top top levels because it's just like any MMO it gets a little repetitive. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, the purple the purple lightsaber I know in that game, and actually I don't know if it was any other game, but um, I know that the crystal I, for the purple was considered more powerful. I remember in the uh, the Clone Wars, um, the show, not the two D one, but the three D one. Someone actually had a black light lightsaber. Oh, yeah, I've seen that before. When was? Yeah. Seen oh no, that wasn't a lightsaber. That was um, that was like something that was way more ancient than the Jedi. It was like a pre-Jedi weapon. Was I it an actual that. sword? It was a, yeah, it was an actual. It was an actual sword. <laughs> but it, it like a sword saber. It was a sword saber. <laughs> 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 the, the swords that were used by the Sith and um, a number of other pre-Jedi, pre-Force. I mean, some, some there were the races that were Force Adept, the Sith being one of them, and um, they used what I believe in some other games have been oh, called yeah, the Vib Vibroblade. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that's what yeah. it was. It's like yeah, it's it's a it's a phys it. it's a physical blade, but it has energy it around it. it. Yeah, I forget. Uh, what, what's the one with um, what's the RPG that came out on the Xbox? With uh, uh, that was Knights nice of the Old Republic. Republic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they call them vibro blades in that and those two games, but I can't I can't remember if they were called something else during um, for example, I know that Sith used them. Because they were actually the the way that the Sith became uh, Jedi infused was there was these two Jedi that were expelled, blah blah blah. They ended up on this planet. They taught all these Force adept race. They taught this Force adept race the Force like technique and stuff. And long story short, that's where Palpatine comes from. Yeah. The aristocrats. It's all the it's all the Jedi's fault. Everything's always the Jedi's fault. There's also it, really uh, it gets so complicated too, and then you've got the Valley of the Jedi where you can just like go and become a Jedi. You just get infused with the Force there. <laughs> yeah, it's like everybody uh, and their mother wants to be a Jedi. I'm a Jedi. You don't get lightsaber to get light powers. That was from uh, that was from the Dark uh, Jedi Knight and Jedi Outcast games. It's a Force field deactivator. So since we're it's in, a since Force we're actually, to be reckoned with. Are we swimming around in poop right now? Yeah, we're, we're swimming around in poop. It's space poop. We're, sw so. we're swimming around in cheese horse poop. <laughs> no, it's cheese horse shit. Poop. If you're gonna sneak into a palace, this. you're gonna get covered in shit. This is the poop trap where all the huts take their dumps. This level's really confusing. You know, actually, yeah, that's not far from the truth. The huts may have shit in this because she's dealt a lot with job of the hut apparently yeah well this it's his own car son and that's where uh, Zero, the gay hut left. So. I'm kind of curious to f to know if um, Shizor's dealings with these criminals, because you know he's kind of like this influential, almost political leader in Coruscant. I wonder if it uh, uh, affected. I wonder if it was all underground or if it was like just out in the open. Like, hey, I'm a fucking mafia dude, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. It could, yeah, it, it seems like he'd be akin to like the mafia boss. Like everybody knows that he's the bad guy, but nobody yeah. can prove it. So they have to get him on yeah. racketeering. Tax evasion. Well, he, he, he did a lot of dealings with the huts, huts and stuff. So I well, everyone did dealings yeah. with the huts. I mean, like Jedi dealt Pretty with much, the yeah. huts, and the <laughs> Empire dealt with the huts. Once you dealt with every hut, you've been with every hut that hut has dealt with. That's why the huts interesting. You know, they were so neutral. They were just like everyone. Everyone had to come to them, no matter how powerful they were. See, the it's really it's interesting thinking about this because it's like Star Wars. I guess has always had that very political aspect to it in a lot of its uh, other writings oh, and then yeah. you know when they actually have politics in the movies it's boring as hell yeah that's because actually show the politics it was interesting in the yeah. old movies because it was like mentioned on like an office off side it was like a, and then this happened or this has just yeah. happened and now we're dealing with the ramifications of that whereas the prequels are like let's watch there's a show we have in australia called um uh it's like speaker it's time great. it's like speaker time or whatever and it's basically just watching politicians yeah. argue <laughs> and um that's like literally all it is and that's what the prequels are it's just listening to politicians argue if i wanted to watch boring political debates i'd watch star trek or get on yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey this is this is the exact same thing that was in the uh the feed palace uh room in uh during the duel of the fates in episode one you just went through the, the force field thing yeah so they got wow. that idea from the game oh. that came out years before <laughs> you know, I'm one of the few people like the Duel of Fates is a song that does nothing for me. Everyone goes, that song's like the one good thing to come out of the prequel out well, of episode you know, John one. Williams, his stuff's been in Star Wars since day one, right? So, yeah. actually, with this game, I was reading a thing about this a bit ago that they approached John Williams to score this game. Yeah. And actually, I think, I don't know if it was the title track or there's a couple other tracks in there. They used some stuff from the original. Uh, yeah, but there's some fresh compositions. Yeah, yeah, that didn't. But but he actually, John Williams didn't actually do anything for this specifically. He just yeah. uh, recommended. Uh, I think it was John Neely or Joe Neely or yeah, he like did it, and he did a great job rep um, replicating John Williams' sound. Yeah. There's some tracks right, on here yeah. that I think are just as good as anything Williams um, ever composed. Definitely. Hey now. You're a rock star. 
John Williams, the rock star. <laughs> there is there is a country music star yeah. called John Williams. Oh, this is it. This is the bane oh, of my existence. Oh, giant queen Diana. Oh, it's a Zelda oh, ball. giant the Taurus, kill it. I died so many times here fighting this thing. Boba Fett, no. this I already beat Boba Fett. Oh, you've already died. Yeah, it no. didn't take long. I had full health for a second. You gotta shoot its fucking Quick. eye stalk. You gotta kill the ganglia. <laughs> shoot the eye. Yeah. Interesting shoot the fact for the Dianoga. <laughs> what can tell us about Dianoga? The Dianoga is the, the big tentacle monster in the trash compactor. Yeah. The Dianoga was the original name for the Jedi in one of the earlier drafts of Star Wars. Really? That's amazing. Yes. That's great fact. That is interesting. Great fact. That's yeah. what this show is all about. That's talking. Star Wars facts. Yes. Got any other interesting Star Wars facts like that? About the um, Dianoga? Not. Probably do, but they don't pertain to this. Like, um, what about just you know random one ones? Of the asteroids in the asteroid field. It's a potato. Back was a potato. I thought one I thought there was like I thought there was a couple of potatoes in there. Uh, there was at least one. I think they were saying like because they they only modeled the asteroids for the close-up ones, and the ones in the distance were all potatoes. Not all of them, though. No. They had a lot of little tiny ones in the in the background. Ah, eh, potatoes look um, like asteroids. You throw a potato, maybe. someone's gonna think an asteroid's about to hit them. <laughs> oh, mashed potatoes! You know, when the impact comes, it's just a glorious moment because you're just covered in mashed potatoes. <laughs> covered in mash. You're just like, where's the sour cream and cheese? I'm gonna smear them on my body. And like, oh, potato I'm goodness! Run my ship through the ship wash to get all this potato off. Because I can't see anything Going but potato. The wash. There's not enough ship potato wash. in Star Wars. I like how. What did you call this the, the the creature down here? Because oh, the Dianoga. It's very much similar. It's very it's remarkably similar to the well, except the what is that hole in the ceiling? That's the cloaca. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it's very similar to the Sarlacc pit. Yeah, it's like a water yeah. Sarlacc. In the racing like episode the same, that you did. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it was the same texture pack for the teeth. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta recycle that Texas where you can when you're working with cartridges. Next. Recycle. <laughs> Cartridges are expensive and don't have a lot of storage, so you got to you know, recycle you what you can. You killed that thing. You died like a hundred times. You died a hundred times, and you were inexplicably, you inexplicably just won. I don't. I, I missed how that happened. Did you shoot? They had, the... um, I had a lot of lives. Like lives. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well. Uh... Star Wars. <laughs> Magic of Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mark. Thank you, Psycho. Thank Over you, Dylan. Time. Uh, come thank back you. next time. We're gonna storm the castle. That's it, really. Princess We're just gonna storm the castle. castle. Storms of Bruin. There's a storms of Bruin. In 